Hey guys, so I know a lot of you don't know what MTG Frontier is, so I wanted to make a video introducing you to this format. I'm looking to play the format as well. So Frontier, which is known as postmodern, is a casual format. So it's meant just to play for fun. It was invented in September 26 of this year, 2016, very recent format by two Japanese game stores who hold weekly tournaments uh, just like they would hold in Friday Night Magic, instead of using Standard or Modern, they would play Frontier. Now Frontier has the same rules as Modern and Standard. A deck must have a minimal of 60 cards, there's no maximum deck size, and you have a sideboard of up to 15 cards. Besides basic lands, you cannot use more than 4 of any card. What is different is the sets that are allowed. So it's M15, Clans of Tarkir, Fate Reforged, Dragons of Tarkir, Magic Origins, Battle for Zendikar, Gatewatch, Shadows, Eldritch Moon, and Kaladas. So those are the sets that are legal in this format. Anything since M15 is legal. One of the reasons they picked M15 was because of the card frame. So just like Modern, Modern was based on card frame. Was this was the new card frame that happened in 8th edition. And from 8th edition on, we are going to, that's going to be the sets legal and modern. That's exactly what they did with Frontier. They picked the M15 card frame and said from that point, this point on, this is going to be legal. So definitely a interesting, interesting uh, format. We're going to take a look at some of the top decks right now. Grixis Dragon, Multi-Color Control. The format has the Fetch Lands in them, and they also have the Zendikar Battle Lands. Battle for Zendikar Lands. So they create this good stuff mix where you're playing four colors, three colors, because it's really easy to get your colors. Um, Multi-Color Control, Jun, Multi-Color Control. Uh, any, the decks range from $100 to $500 to $600. Some of these decks are not necessarily cheaper than modern decks. It really depends on if you're playing control, because control cards are expensive. The number one card in this format, without a doubt, is Flip Jace. I've seen him as a four of in pretty much every deck list. And he is very, very good. The meta, multi-color control, I mean, that's probably the best deck in the meta. But you have Abzin, you have Elspeth. Oh, Esper, you have Mono Green. Lots of interesting cards. Crackling Doom is good again. Abs and Charm. Everything that was good in Contra Tarkir block is good in MTG Frontier. It's and then we add the new cards like Smuggler's Copter, Copter and uh, all of these newer cards add to the strategy of uh, Coco Collected Company is very strong here. Uh, anything that you played a year ago is a deck in this format just with some of the newer cards and that's what mtg frontier is again m15 cons fate dragons and origins those are the rotated ones out so it's kind of like standard with those five additional sets i'm intrigued by the concept I haven't really, there's no one locally who plays this, but I would probably make a deck just because I already have a deck, and that's a good point. If you already have a deck, then getting into this format is not difficult. And if you played standard at all with Cards of Tarkir, you already have your fetch lands, you probably already have your Jaces. You can just make a deck all using parts of your standard deck that you currently have and parts of a past standard deck that you had a year ago. And that's probably the most appealing part of it, is it, as long as you've been playing standard for a year or two years ago, you can make a Frontier deck without any further investment, assuming you didn't sell your cards. I don't know, leave me a comment below. Do you guys like this format? Do you think it's real? Is it not real? I'd love to get your opinions. Anyway, bye.